Italy's three-week national bike race, the Giro d'Italia, takes place in a land blessed with beautiful cities, rugged mountains, and people insanely passionate about sports. Here, bicycle racing matters, and matters a lot. The riders know they are competing under the hot light of fiery love of the sport. The Giro is raced in the spring, when sudden storms can come out of nowhere. In the mountains, this means abundant sunshine can quickly turn to intolerable cold, fog, rain, snow, and ice. Some of the Giro's greatest dramas took place while Mother Nature raged at the help of cyclists. Only eight riders could finish the 1914 Giro. Other years have seen mass abandonments when the majority of the racers could no longer endure the dreadful conditions the race imposed. Between baking Sicilian heat, near vertical dolomite ascents, freezing snowstorms and blinding torrents of rain, the Giro has regularly put its riders in extremis. With its days of slow piano racing mostly a thing of the past, the Giro can be a bare-knuckle brawl from start to finish. There's been no race in recent memory to rival the 2009 Giro with its down-to-the-wire slugfest between winner Dennis Menchov and Danilo De Luca. Today the Giro is measurably harder to race than the Tour de France. With power meters attached to the riders' bikes, we know that Giro racers go deeper and expend more energy than those competing in the Tour de France. That's why I love the Giro d'Italia. The great rivalry of the 1940s and 50s between Fausto Coppi and Gino Bartoli is known mostly to cycling fans because of their adventures in the Tour de France. But for much of bike racing's history, the Alps have been a high wall, and Italian sponsors preferred to keep their racers at home, where they could earn valuable publicity. Because of this, there's a whole world of great athletes who are virtually unknown to the non-Italian cycling fan. How about Giovanni Valetti? In 1939, Valetti beat Bartoli when Gino was at the very peak of his powers. Has anyone heard of Giuseppe Enrici, the Giro winner who was born in Pittsburgh? Alfonsina Strada was the only woman who entered, and unofficially finished, a Grand Tour. And there was Giordano Couture, who won a Giro stage in Trieste while guns blazed. Clearly, this is a story that has to be told. It's all in the story of the Giro d'Italia.